hello everyone today I'm going to show you uh, about the Google Earth engine uh, and I I was most uh, impressed by Queen Xing Yu uh, and I have used his uh, Google Earth engine uh, Jupyter notebook and I just uh, tried these things in my own computer so first of all I will uh, open my anaconda prompt anaconda prompt and then after this i will go to my folder cd downloads um, before that i will download this folder and the website is gmap.org slash workshops slash geopython 2021 so i download this so i have this folder here uh, in downloads and it's called one so i will go to this folder so i will go to download and then i will start jupyter notebook when it, when i enter this one our jupyter notebook notebook will be automatically opened so i will go to that uh, folder see python which i have just downloaded and it started hitting enter and so the we'll see the result It's taking a long time for loading the um, codes so let's wait for some time yeah and here are all things and there is also recorded video by Queen Ching Wu and Kel Markelt uh, are the authors of this program so uh, just here are the things the prerequisites are Anaconda and Miniconda I have already installed it so i don't have to uh, create the environment of the anaconda because i have already installed anaconda here this one so first of all uh, i should import the libraries like os e e n g map google auth engine map so i will just enter shift and enter or run the button this has been successfully run and map equals to g map map dot map so it will call the map and uh, it will and this map will show the interactive map so when i call this i can see uh, an interactive map where i can do many things like this one is road map ocean map terrain map all the maps are available here I can do uh, I can input the string I can input the square I can input the circle I can input the this uh, marker I can edit the layer so these are the things yeah so I will customize the default map now like when I uh, in, enter this uh, seed center equals to 40 and minus 100 so it will be centered to another portion so this one is the light mode and it's called true and it will be centered to USA if I uh, center it to 20 say 28 and 85 degree it will be near to Nepal I think yeah it's near to nepal and the zoom level will be like from 16 let's see when i called the zoom level 16 the loading is a bit uh, lagging here so i will use 6 and i can see nepal here so this one is the coordinate for the centering and uh, i will add the base map another base map like it's it's the default base map um, before but when i call the hybrid map we can also mm, use uh, call the hybrid map from the setting and from here change base map to hybrid this one 
we can do it by coding also so for coding we we had to use we use add base map and to center it and we can see the ba ne new base map and we can also uh, toggle on and off these things so this one is a goal map this one is satellite map all their on off we can just fill the transparency of this map so it's all the included feature of cool out in engine map g map so i will uh, from g base map import base map so i will import the base map and then i will just add uh, the topo map to the base map so let's see the result the topo map will be added to the base map yeah and we can see in the things here like we have three layers now okay so yeah then uh, we are going to um, this feature again we will load the map just just it's loaded so when google ma maps is toggled on we can see the map but its opacity is low so now we can increase the opacity um, we can also use the tiles and WMS service like WMS is uh, we, we can see it in this link there is a link and we have some base maps and uh, yeah this one is WMS um, so when you click here uh, these are the maps uh, we can use here so these are the tiles X, Y, Z. it is a google map so let's see the, this map once then this is the topographic uh, or terrain map google terrain map we can see different terrains over here like uh, when i go here i can toggle off the terrain on and off and we can see the difference now uh, i will go to this uh, this feed service uh, it is a wms service server WMS service and taken out from the XGIS and this when I load this one we can see that the new image that that is image dot slash PNG has been added uh, to our base map so when I go here I can just toggle off and on and I can um look the differences okay it's been loading so it's taking more time so we can get this uh, these things from here mm, let me see like when i want to have the axis mm, okay not this one um, up to here so if i want to add this map i will cop copy this and i will paste it here so i will paste it here and shift enter so the next map will be added to here we can see uh, I don't know which map is this this is the same map but uh, okay this this is not good map so we will try the next one mm, we'll use this map okay and I will copy from here to here just copy it and then 
paste it here not here but here and we can see the difference switch enter yes now we can see the difference here like we have added the new map this one it's taking a long time for loading this data so we cannot see the exact uh, things here so leave it now I can use the drawing tool so I will use the drawing tools and see the result or JSON for JSON format files so I will just use one line here our line has been used I will use one rectangle I will use one circle I will use one point so when I use this uh, map dot user underscore way I can see the things uh, these uh, points I had just used point at last so the last point information will be shown here so when I get info here uh, we can see that and this is a point type and the coordinate of this point so if we want to uh, know the coordinate of all these things and all these features we can use map that users underscore ways yes extra here so when I hit enter we can see that it is a feature collection and here is a feature and this one is a polygon type this one is line string first I had drawn the line second one is polygon and uh, yeah and I have used the point type here at last yeah and this data can be seen here and if we just remove the get info we can see mm, the features uh, and it will be saved at this location so we can also convert uh, the google earth uh, javascript into python so if we see some google earth javascript uh, here or in the github or somewhere else we can just copy it okay and just paste it here like this one and just hit enter oh sorry it's invalid we can do it in another uh, step like i will just enter hit enter this one and i will hit, hit enter like js snippet to python so when i hit enter um, this the, the javascript will be compared to the python so when i again hit enter uh, we can see the map in python and we can see the false color composite of uh, false color, color composite map so we can also um, convert uh, these things um, javascript into python by using a function here but i just uh, is the one I don't know you you can you can uh, watch the video from quizzing you uh, on this uh, 21 April 23 Google Earth Engine and you see workshop and you can see all the things there um, I'm showing these things because I'm learning it uh, to do um, my daily 100 days code 
so when I hit enter I can see the new map uh, as uh, this is a color false color composite and this is the new map again so when I call Z map dot map and I call map uh, a new map will appear again always so thank you for watching for for now this is uh, just up to here and please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much